Hi everyone, it's Christopher, Mono County Library Director and co-host of the Oxygen Starved podcast with this week's Book Talk Friday. Two great library books from Mono County Library that you can check out, one old and one new, and I'm gonna start with the old this time. The Secret History by Donna Tart. This came out in 1992. It was her first book and it was a smash. And she has only written three novels in total, her most recent being The Goldfinch, but each of them has been choice. What she created in The Secret History is what has become the granddaddy of campus thrillers, murder mysteries with a seemingly intellectual bent where the elite and educated are revealed to be just as murderously inclined as your average mobster. Although, of course, a bit more devious and clever about it. This book went on to influence the likes of current popular novelists like Mona Awad, Lisa Lutz, and Lee Bardugo. Just as Agatha Christie defined the elements of a cozy small town mystery story, Tart put in stone the ingredients for this subgenre, including a stereotypical elite college campus, in this case a beautiful New England college based on Bennington and Vermont, a charismatic professor, usually of the classics, in this case ancient Greek, a small, tight-knit group of followers of that person, creating an almost suffocating secret society, if you will, that revolves around that professor and the classics, an unsuspecting outsider who breaks into this group, in this case the narrator, a young, unprepossessing student from a small town in California named Richard. And of course, someone needs to turn up dead. Tart combines all of these things to tremendous effect in The Secret History, which is described as a murder mystery in reverse because you know it happened from the first lines of the prologue. And here I'll quote, the snow in the mountains was melting and Bunny had been dead for several weeks before we came to understand the gravity of our situation. He'd been dead for 10 days before they found him, you know. It is difficult to believe that Henry's modest plan could have worked so well despite these unforeseen events. We hadn't intended to hide the body where it couldn't be found. That's the opener. Tart wrote this novel as the heady drug sex and money days of the 1980s were giving way to the 90s. And given the debauchery and privilege of these elite college students she creates, it's easy to remark that she's just carrying forward similar tropes from the likes of Jay McGearnany or Brett Easton Ellis, who in fact was a college friend of hers and to whom she dedicates this book. In fact, she got dinged by reviewers for these kinds of superficial characters when the book was first published, but readers got the last laugh. The Secret History is still widely popular and, as I mentioned, has influenced a number of other novels. Which brings me to my pick for the new this week. The Maidens by Alex Michalides. This is his second novel after the hugely popular The Silent Patient. Now, of course, no one is saying that this author is drawing explicitly from Donna Tart, but let's tick off those elements of a good gothic academic thriller. Stereotypical elite college campus, charismatic professor of the classics, small tight-knit group of followers, an outsider peering in, and of course, someone turns up dead. Tick, tick, tick. The publisher sums it up like this. Edward Fosca is a murderer, of this Mariana is certain, but Fosca is untouchable, a handsome and charismatic Greek tragedy professor at Cambridge University. Fosca is adored by his staff and students alike, particularly by the members of a secret society of female students known as the Maidens. Mariana Andros is a brilliant but troubled group therapist who becomes fixated on the Maidens when one member, a friend of Mariana's niece Zoe, is found murdered in Cambridge. Mariana, who was once herself a student at the university, quickly suspects that behind the idyllic beauty of the spires and turrets and beneath the ancient traditions lies something sinister. And she becomes convinced that despite his alibi, Edward Fosca is guilty of the murder. But why would the professor target one of his students? And why does he keep returning to the rites of Persephone, the maiden, and her journey to the underworld? Well, all these things add up to a thoroughly entertaining read that was given a starred review by Publishers Weekly and has been blurbed by the likes of Lucy Foley, author of last year's best-selling The Guest List, and David Baldacci. This is The Maidens by Alex Michalides. This is The Secret History by Donna Tart. both excellent academic thrillers, both available at Mono County Libraries. Come in and grab them or check out some other great thriller to read. In the meantime, stay safe and happy reading.